Hello, in this RPCS3 video on the ROG Alloy X, plus also valid for ROG Alloy, by the way, I'm going to show you how to connect up your Xbox controller using Bluetooth and how to fully configure it as well. So, this works for all controllers that came with the Xbox Series console, Series S and X, comes, supports the later controllers that came with Xbox One S and X, I mean, that, that were released in that generation that supported Bluetooth as well. So, let's check if it supports Bluetooth if it's not your need a dongle but i recommend just getting one that has bluetooth makes things a lot easier okay so first of all you need to put your controller into sync mode i'll just zoom out as in just literally move my phone and we need to put in sync mode by pressing the sync button right here keep it pressed the light will start flashing once it does and it says new gamepad found i'm not going to connect it this way just in case your that doesn't appear for you so you click down here the light is still flashing, by the way. You might want to do it first. Click the arrow, and you want to select, scroll down, Xbox Wireless Controller. Before you go back, you'll see this turns solid in a second. That's now solid. That means it's now connected. Okay, so it's actually connected to a console now. Now we need to get it synced up or, you know, set up in RPCS3 to launch that up. I've got an update. I will do this afterwards. And you want to go to pads, you want to select X input, and here, as long as it says you know connected and not disconnected, you know you're all good to go. But check which X input your controller is because there's technically two X inputs one is the controls on the what's it called, ROG Alloy X or ROG Alloy, and there's one from the controller. So let's have a look. So if I press and I press left on my controller, it's not picking me up, which suggests to me, if I press that and I press left here, uh, let's change it to gamepad mode for starters. And let's go here, let's press left. Nope, that's not working. Left, that works. Again, this is a little tip. Here, make sure this is in gamepad when you're playing games or when you're configuring the controls. And not auto, definitely not desktop mode. Okay, so I'm just gonna just put this back up. So now we know X input pad one is clearly the ROG Alloy X. Should be, that should be the way it is, but just in case, always check. Now this, if I press up, I'm trying to press the left key, doesn't work. If I press left on here, there we go. If I press it again and I press, you know, A, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna reset it. Press up, uh, up on here, sorry. And now, obviously, feel free to change any of the controls that you want. Down here, you can see if I move the analog sticks, you can see they're moving, shows you dead zone. So if you want to, you know, tweak that, my, I don't have any, like my, and my drift is all fine as well. So we're all good to go. Just make sure you save. And that's it. So let's say if I launch up a game like this, and this is another little tip. If you right click the game, and you've got a custom gamepad configuration. It's easy to have that, especially if you've gone in the game, you know, change the configuration, then you'll create a custom gamepad configuration. Click that and see, this wouldn't work for me because it's set it to DualSense. So I would want it as X input. I would want one as X input pad two because I've already, you know, double checked that. And then I would click save. Then there might be a game like Infamous 2 where I haven't got a custom gamepad configuration and this should just default to whatever I've selected here. So if you, if you launched a game, let's say if I launched God of War and your controls aren't working the way you would expect them to and you've like the, one of the first things I'll check here is here. So you go to the command center. So it's the bottom button of the left buttons. Make sure this is on gamepad. You do not want it on desktop or till. You want it on gamepad then you're all good to go. But if it's still not working, I will check that. Make sure there's not a custom game conf gamepad configuration. If there is, just change it to you know, the controller. And now, once we get to this, this intro, if I press A, it should skip. There we go. Turn the volume down. If I press A again, it should skip. If I move over here, if I press up and down, there we go okay so that is it that is how you connect up your xbox controller to your rog alloy or rog alloy x to play it on the rpcs3 emulator and a few tips as well if you're having a few issues let me know what other videos you would like to see next 
down in the comments if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button stay tuned for the patreon page launching very very soon with all the exclusive emulation content that you all want to see as well so see you in the next video take care bye